Hello and welcome to another modelling video. This is Alan from the McConaughey at YouTube with a, another printing your airbrush skills video. This is going to be a very short one covering the beeswax technique. And uh, this little trick is uh, very, very easy to do. It was done by another YouTuber who was uh, demonstrating uh, how inefficient uh, the cheaper Chinese manufactured airbrushes were and a few tricks how you can get them up to scratch. Uh, one of them was uh, once the O-rings start to fail, instead of uh, constantly replacing uh, nozzles and other bits, you could put a bit of beeswax around the seal between the uh, nozzle and the rest of the airbrush or if there's any breaks between the cup to the tip to uh, seal those up which I don't recommend uh, using those and I did try to fix one in a previous video with uh, Paddy uh, this is the stuff so right here we've got uh, cosmetic grade um, beeswax and once sitting in your hands uh, the heat from your fingers already starts to make it feel a bit soft you'll uh, need a hobby knife and your airbrush now your airbrush is a delicate uh, process of atomization the healthy mix of uh, paint thinner air source and the mechanical components are uh, working to create that fine mist of paint that lands on the uh, surface before it dries we're concerned from this point to this point we've got no breaks and all we've got is uh, the nozzle inside you know your airbrush has problems when you are pushed down for air and you haven't really pulled back and we've already got air bubbles that means uh, the pressured air that's going over the nozzle is leaking between the uh, joint of the nozzle and the airbrush and going backwards through your paint uh, this ruins atomization and can cause uh, all sorts of uh, problems such as uh, spluttering and uh, other uh, issues you push down and it's doing the jet bubble technique and you pull back and it splatters quite big it means you've got a major failure if you've only got a couple of bubbles coming up when you push down without pulling back and if you pull back and there's still a couple of bubbles it means you have a mild failure this could be that the o-ring ring has failed uh, you'll have less or substantially less pressure going through the uh, needle is not uh, tempered to the uh, nozzle well enough or the nozzle has a split if you know your nozzle and needle is up to scratch it is definitely a broken seal tightening it ideally with one of these without um, over talking and threading it or shearing the nozzle off is an idea but uh, if that o-ring is failed we're going to uh, seal it up so when you're doing your uh, maintenance and whatnot every time you break the seal on your nozzle to do cleaning maintenance uh, removing crud from uh, the inside of your nozzle you have to do this every time so we start off with our beeswax and a knife and we only want to slice off the slightest amount so about that much should uh, do it we place it on our fingers and then you roll it to heat it up into an almost liquid putty state make sure when you tighten you only do it with one finger and you don't overdo it you could uh, shear off uh, the nozzle end keep rolling it in between your fingers until it's quite warm and soft and then right on top of the join between the brass and the nozzle stick it on there and then using your fingers you're going to mold it all the way around and make sure it's massaged and pushed into the joint if you lose some in the process cut more and uh, begin a bit again if there's too much and the lid can't go over it just cut the majority off of it reheat with your finger and massage around and it should look something like this you can see that uh, you can barely see your um, nozzle end because it's completely covered and we're able to put the crack
crown back on, there's good airflow, and we put the needle back in as we're not damaging the tip while we're playing around with the uh, nozzle end. It will take a bit of practice because what I found uh, doing it for the first few times is that you put way too much on and you get cloggage by putting the crown back on and whatnot and just have a bit of a play until you get the right amount and as you do it enough times in the maintenance of your airbrush you'll get pretty good and quick at it, it's not a problem you'll find that everything atomizes a lot nicer and that your lines are going to be so much finer that your gradients are going to be a bit smoother and you're not going to get uh, much in a way of uh, fuzz or splattering or anything because you do not have air leaking into your paint source and going back out again and causing uh, all sorts of uh, problems. So you can see all of that. It is extremely smooth. And this way you'll be able to do a lot of uh, freehand stuff a lot easier. You can buy all sorts of uh, beeswax, beeswax, uh, naturally occurring uh, beeswax from naturopath stores or cosmetic beeswax from um, the internet or uh, chemists. Uh, most ideal. I would avoid uh, the hardware store stuff where uh, they're more uh, table polishes or wood treatment um, products, uh, they're uh, probably going to eat into any um, o-rings mix with the paint and uh, cause other problems, also being far too watery or in a putty state. But uh, you can find them pretty cheap online if you're in Australia, uh, the Salt Mine Hobby Shop uh, stocks uh, two um, cubes for about uh, five dollars, so that would last you for that tiny amount you cut off for absolute ages. It also operates as a um, wax and has uh, many other uh, properties and uses in the hobby and um, other aspects of uh, the household. It's a nice uh, natural product. And uh, this is just great to getting your uh, Hysing or uh, cheap um, Chinese manufactured airbrushes to just be that little more tuned and operate that little bit better uh, on the same par as all of the main brand up to $100 manufacturer airbrushes like Iwata or Sterner and Harbeck and whatnot. And do you know what? Their O-rings and fittings will also wear out over time with a lot of use in cleaning. And that uh, main brand airbrushes could also use the assistance of this trick to seal anywhere that there may be an air leak. So if you've got an air leak, even down to the compressor, the hose, whatnot, uh, this will fix it. And if you are looking for an air leak on uh, an airbrush or a hose or a line or something, get some water mixed with detergent, apply it to the surface, power on the air, and where you see bubbles, that is where your air leak is. I hope this video has been very helpful for uh, many people that may be having uh, that maintenance problem of just... Um, not being able to spray properly, losing pressure and all that sort of stuff by the air recycling back uh, through the cup. I hope uh, this has been of uh, assistance to you. Thank you very much for watching. As always, until next time, stay tuned for further content. Very happy to always answer questions. Check out Facebook. Uh, we've got um, all sorts of interesting resources and sources in the description section and we'll catch you guys next time. Stay tuned for further content.